another difficult pose. After all, it isn't every lady who can give herself a kick on the chin. Great muscular strain, but no outward sign of it. That's the secret of Cynthia's art. A little light on nature's black art is staged at Calvinia, Cape Colony. It's here that eminent astronomers come to study the sun's total eclipse. And a great array of scientific instruments is ready for the encounter. Dr. Jackson, Cape Town's Astronomer Royal and his assistants, are experimenting with special 15-inch photographic plates. Everything must be set for the all too short period of totality. Another expert gets ready to check the exposure of each plate. It's a very ticklish business, this. Dr. Allen from Australia is an authority on the structure and components of the corona, and he's responsible for operating the spectrograph. It's fitted with a mirror, adjusted by clockwork, to offset the motion of the Earth. With the delicate parts protected by a 10-foot pit is another spectrograph sent out from Cambridge. Our own camera is set up on a lonely copy, well away from dust and disturbance, and all ready to take a moving picture record of the whole amazing performance. And what an audience. The sun's a star today, but the only way he can get into the limelight is by being blacked out. Our first impression is much the same as most of the other observers. And watching this show of a century are all the colors and creeds that go to make up the mosaic of Africa. They sense that this is one of nature's miracles. Now the miracle is about to happen. Meanwhile, our camera on the lonely copy is recording the slow movement of the moon's shadow. Totality slowly approaches and up goes our sun filter, revealing in all its glory the magnificent spectacle of the corona. A steely blue light trembles for a moment over the earth, the temperature drops to a chill dampness, and then nature's blackout, totality. <laughs> 